Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. In today's, mobile phones have become central to our lives, holding sensitive, personal and financial information. Hackers have developed sophisticated techniques to breach phones without physical contact. These attacks exploit software vulnerabilities, social engineering tactics, and network weaknesses, enabling hackers to access data remotely. Some common methods include phishing, exploiting security flaws, SIM swapping, and using malware or spyware. Understanding these methods can help users stay vigilant and protect their devices from being compromised. Let's explore some of these techniques. 1. Phishing 2. Exploiting software vulnerabilities 3. SIM swapping 4. Spyware and malware 5. Man in the middle attacks An SS7 attack is a type of cyber attack that takes advantage of weaknesses in an old system called Signaling System 7 SS7, which is used by mobile networks around the world. This system helps connect calls, send text messages, and manage roaming when your phone connects to a different network while traveling. How does an SS7 attack work in simple terms? Gaining access. Hackers somehow get into the SS7 system. They might do this by pretending to be a legitimate phone company or by using a smaller telecom provider that still lets people access SS7. Once they're inside, they can listen in on communications. Spying on your calls and texts. Once in, the hacker can intercept your phone calls and text messages. So even though you're talking to your friend or getting a text, the hacker can also hear or read it. Tracking your location. Using SS7, hackers can request your phone's location from the network. This lets them track where you are even if you're on the move. Stealing your verification codes. Many online services like banks or email accounts send you a verification code via SMS to confirm it's really you. With an SS7 attack, hackers can intercept these codes letting them break into your accounts. Redirecting or blocking calls. Hackers can mess with your phone calls by redirecting them to another number so when someone calls you, the hacker answers instead, or they can stop your calls from coming through at all. Hacking software. There are various types of hacking tools used for penetration testing or malicious purposes. These tools might target system vulnerabilities, passwords, networks, or websites. Popular ethical hacking tools include Metasploit, used for exploiting vulnerabilities, Nmap, network scanner to discover devices and services, Wireshark, a packet analyzer to capture and inspect data in real time, John the Ripper, a password cracking tool, SIM card swapping, this is a type of social engineering attack where the hacker tricks the mobile carrier into transferring the victim's phone number to a SIM card controlled by the attacker. The attacker can intercept text messages, calls, and two-factor authentication codes to gain access to accounts. Phishing attacks. Phishing involves tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information like usernames, passwords, or credit card details by pretending to be a trustworthy entity, for example, through fake emails, websites, or messages. Some variations include spear phishing, targeted phishing aimed at a specific individual or company, whaling, phishing aimed at high-profile targets like executives, Bluetooth hacking. Bluetooth connections can be exploited by attackers to gain unauthorized access to devices. Some common Bluetooth-related attacks include blue snarfing, gaining unauthorized access to a device via Bluetooth to steal data, bluejacking, sending unsolicited messages to Bluetooth-enabled devices, bluebugging, exploiting Bluetooth vulnerabilities to take control of a device. Vulnerabilities. Hackers look for weaknesses in network systems like outdated software or weak passwords to gain unauthorized access. One phishing. They trick users into revealing personal information often through fake emails or websites which can lead to account breaches. Two. Malware. By sending malicious software, hackers can control devices on the network, steal data, or disrupt operations. 3. Man-in-the-middle attacks. Hackers intercept communications between two parties to steal sensitive information or inject malicious content. 4. Denial of service. DOS. They flood a network with traffic, making services unavailable to legitimate users. Hackers exploit SS7, signaling system number 7, a protocol used by telecom networks to intercept calls and messages. Here's how they do it. 1. Network access. Hackers gain entry to SS7 networks by exploiting vulnerabilities or gaining unauthorized access through telecom companies. 2. Signal interception. Once they are inside the network, hackers can intercept signals that manage call routing. This allows them to listen in on conversations or read text messages in real time. 3. Location tracking. 
they can track a user's real-time location by sending requests to the network for the user's data, which can lead to privacy breaches. 4. Identity Theft By hijacking calls, hackers can bypass two-factor authentication systems. This makes it easier for them to steal sensitive information such as bank account details or personal data. 5. Impersonation Hackers can also impersonate the victim in conversations, tricking contacts into sharing confidential information or transferring money. 6. Privacy Risks Many people are unaware of these vulnerabilities which makes them easy targets for such attacks. SS7 stands for Signaling System Number 7. It's a complex network. It allows different phone carriers to communicate with each other. Think of it as the invisible backbone of mobile communication. When you make a call, SS7 is working behind the scenes. It helps route the call to the right person. It handles billing information. It ensures the call goes through smoothly. SS7 is essential for mobile networks to function, but it was designed in a different era. Security wasn't a top priority back then. As a result, SS7 has some serious vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities are like open doors for hackers. They can exploit these weaknesses to gain access to your phone and your data. Hackers are clever, they're always looking for new ways to exploit systems. SS7 vulnerabilities are like a goldmine for them. They can use these weaknesses to track your location. SS7 can reveal your whereabouts in real time, intercept your calls and texts, Hackers can listen in on your conversations, they can read your messages, steal your identity. SS7 can be used to hijack your phone number. This allows hackers to access your accounts and impersonate you. These are just a few examples. The possibilities for exploitation are endless. And the worst part is, you might never know you've been hacked. One of the most concerning aspects of SS7 vulnerabilities is location tracking. Hackers can use SS7 to pinpoint your location with frightening accuracy. How does this work? Your phone is constantly communicating with cell towers. SS7 is involved in this communication. By exploiting SS7, hackers can trick the network into revealing your phone's location. This information can be used for various malicious purposes. Stalkers can track your every move. Thieves can find out when you're away from home. The possibilities are chilling. Section 5. Intercepting Your Private Conversations SS7 Eavesdropping Your phone calls and text messages are supposed to be private, but SS7 vulnerabilities can shatter this illusion of privacy. Hackers can exploit SS7 to eavesdrop on your conversations. Imagine this. You're discussing sensitive information over the phone. You think it's a private conversation, but a hacker is listening in, capturing every word. This is the reality of SS7 eavesdropping. Hackers can intercept your calls and texts by exploiting SS7's routing mechanisms. They can reroute your calls and messages through their own servers, recording everything. Section 6. Stealing Your Identity – How SS7 Hacks Compromise Your Accounts Identity theft is a growing problem in the digital age, and SS7 vulnerabilities make it even easier for hackers to steal your identity. How? By hijacking your phone number. Your phone number is often linked to your online accounts, banks, social media, email. They all rely on your phone number for verification. If a hacker can hijack your number, they can gain access to these accounts. SS7 makes it possible to perform a SIM swap attack. This involves tricking your carrier into transferring your phone number to a SIM card controlled by the hacker. Once they have your number, they can wreak havoc on your digital life. Section 7. Real-World Examples of SS7 Attacks In this section we will delve into some of the most notable instances where SS7 vulnerabilities have been exploited by malicious actors. SS7 vulnerabilities are not theoretical, they are very much real, and have been actively exploited in the wild. These vulnerabilities pose a real and present danger to individuals, businesses, and even governments. There have been numerous instances where hackers have exploited SS7 to carry out attacks, causing significant damage and breaches of privacy. In 2014, German researchers demonstrated an SS7 attack that allowed them to track the location of a German politician. This incident highlighted the potential for surveillance and tracking through SS7 vulnerabilities. In 2016, hackers used an SS7 attack to drain the bank accounts of unsuspecting victims. They managed to intercept banking SMS messages, gaining access to sensitive financial information. By intercepting these SMS messages, 
the hackers were able to bypass two-factor authentication, a security measure that many rely on to protect their accounts. In 2017, security experts revealed that SS7 vulnerabilities could be exploited to spy on WhatsApp users. This revelation showed that even popular messaging apps are not immune to SS7-based attacks. These are just a few examples of the many SS7 attacks that have occurred over the years. Each incident underscores the critical need for improved security measures. The threat is real, and it's growing. As technology advances, so do the methods used by cybercriminals. It is imperative that we stay vigilant and continue to develop robust defenses against such vulnerabilities. Section 8. Governments and Spy Agencies. The Use of SS7 for Surveillance. It's not just hackers who are aware of SS7 vulnerabilities. Governments and spy agencies around the world are also believed to be using SS7 for surveillance purposes. SS7 surveillance tools are commercially available. These tools allow governments to track the location of individuals, intercept their communications, and gather intelligence. The use of SS7 for surveillance raises serious privacy concerns. It allows governments to bypass traditional surveillance warrants and access private information without due process. Section 9. Protecting Yourself from the SS7 Threat The thought of someone spying on your phone calls and tracking your location is unsettling. With the SS7 vulnerability, this fear becomes a reality for many. SS7, or Signaling System Nun 7, is a protocol used by telecom networks to exchange information. Unfortunately, it has some serious security flaws that can be exploited by hackers, but there are steps you can take to protect yourself from SS7 vulnerabilities. Understanding these measures can help you stay one step ahead of potential threats. First, use strong passwords and two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security to your accounts, making it more difficult for unauthorized users to gain access. While this won't prevent SS7 attacks directly, it makes it harder for hackers to access your accounts if your phone number is hijacked. It's a crucial step in safeguarding your personal information. Be cautious about what you share over the phone. Public places are especially risky, as you never know who might be listening in or trying to intercept your communications. Avoid discussing sensitive information over calls or text messages. If you must share important details, consider using more secure methods. Consider using encrypted messaging apps. These apps provide an additional layer of security by encrypting your messages. Apps like Signal or WhatsApp offer end-to-end -end encryption, making it harder for hackers to intercept your messages. This means that only you and the person you're communicating with can read the messages. Keep your phone software up to date. Regular updates often include security patches that address vulnerabilities, including those related to SS7. Software updates often include security patches that address vulnerabilities. By keeping your device updated, you ensure that you have the latest protections against potential threats. These measures won't eliminate the risk entirely. However, they can significantly reduce your chances of becoming a victim of an SS7 attack. By staying informed and taking proactive steps, you can protect your personal information and maintain your privacy in an increasingly connected world. Remember, vigilance is key in the fight against cyber threats. Section 10. The Future of SS7 Security Hope on the Horizon the good news is that the telecommunications industry is aware of the dangers posed by SS7 vulnerabilities. Efforts are underway to address these vulnerabilities and improve the security of SS7. One solution is to migrate to newer signaling protocols, such as Diameter. Diameter is designed with security in mind and is less vulnerable to the types of attacks that plague SS7. However, migrating to new protocols is a complex and time-consuming process. It will likely be years before SS7 is completely phased out. Section 11. Stay informed, stay safe. The importance of SS7. Awareness. SS7 vulnerabilities pose a serious threat to our privacy and security, but by staying informed and taking precautions, we can minimize the risk. Educate yourself about SS7 and the potential dangers. Share this information with your friends and family. The more people who are aware of the issue, the better equipped we are to protect ourselves. Remember, your phone is a powerful tool, but with great power comes great responsibility. By taking steps to secure your phone and your data, you can enjoy the benefits of mobile technology without compromising your privacy.